Tonight, the clock is ticking, literally. You see it right there. Governor Hochul's new mask mandate for indoor facilities that do not have a vaccine requirement in place. That begins on Monday, just a little over two days from now. And tonight, Long Islanders are reacting to this in a big way. Whole lot of posts on our Facebook and Twitter pages tonight. So many of you weighing in on here, no doubt about it. You got some people saying, hold the line, do not comply. They're against the idea of a mask mandate. Then you've got others who say comply or pay for your own hospitalization. When you get COVID, it's getting heated. State Assemblyman right here, Doug Smith. He says he's worried about struggling small businesses and restaurants. Governor Hochul says it's got to happen. The rates are too high. So let's go live right now to our Kevin VC. He's in Huntington with how bar and restaurant owners and customers are reacting to all of this tonight. Kevin. And Rich, we're outside a sports bar called Rust and Gold here in Huntington. I want to quickly show you what it looks like on the inside. I'm going to open the door here. Take a look. You can see that right now masks are not required. That goes for customers as well as staff. But starting on Monday, the governor's order will go into effect, and this place might start looking a whole lot different. It feels like a bad case of deja vu. Frank Antonetti is co-owner of Rust and Gold in Huntington, where there's no requirement to show vaccinations or wear masks. But starting on Monday, one of those will change. I have to protect people, but also the economy. That's because Governor Hochul announced a new order today requiring that masks be worn at indoor public places unless the business has a vaccine mandate. This comes as Long Island's positivity rate climbed to 6.2 percent. Frank says safety is a top priority, but he's concerned there could be more strict rules on the horizon or even shutdowns. After everything that we've all been through, I think you know most business owners have a little bit of PTSD left in them and we're kind of wondering where this is going to lead. But at Almond Restaurant in Bridgehampton, the governor's new mandate is a welcome change. I personally feel it's about time. Owner Eric Lemonidis implemented his own vaccination requirement in early August. And he says it's been great for business. Overall, it's been huge. People walk in, they're really, really happy. They're really excited. There's a sense, a sense of warmth and happiness to be kind of in a room where people feel safe. Meanwhile, Republican Nassau County Executive-elect Bruce Blakeman would not say if he plans to enforce the mandate. But he is pushing back, writing, it is clear that Nassau County is not in crisis and state government should not paint us with the same broad brush as the rest of the state. And with just two days before the new rules go into effect, Frank is still not sure if he'll require masks or vaccinations. This is such new information that uh, we haven't strategized just yet. I'm sure they've got a lot of thinking to do over these next couple of days, Kevin. So we know the new rules go into effect on Monday. How long are they going to be around for? Well, Rich, the current order will remain in effect through January 15th. But what happens after that is really anyone's guess. The state will take another look at the situation and reevaluate next steps at that point. Rich. All right, Kevin VC, thank you very much. Upset about the new mask mandate, or maybe you just have some questions about it. Tune into the new normal Monday morning at 9. We've got a packed show here. Sandra Lindsay, the first American to receive a COVID-19 vaccine outside of a clinical trial. She's going to be here, as well as Northwell Chief Michael Dowling and Dr. Karen Santucci from Greenwich Hospital, where 100% of new admissions diagnosed with COVID-19 are un vaccinated. That's Monday at 9 a.m. You don't want to miss this. If you do watch it at 4 30 p.m. Monday right here on News 12.